this showed up. These are some really awesome Virtua Fighter toys based on the original Virtua Fighter. Uh, these are like available for pre-order now. They're, they're you know in Japan, so they're going to cost like you know forty bucks a pop or whatever. Yep. Uh, if if you think there's something wrong with your eyesight, it, there isn't. These are based on old computer graphics when the, the graphics weren't that good, yep. and there were a lot of polygons, and it was ugly. And I really like it. You know, like I do too, and I, I think we're just far enough removed from gra rudimentary graphics like this to look back at them, sort of like, man, those were great. Yeah. Like we did the same thing with uh, if you look at like, indie games in the last ten or fifteen years, they've been so many like eight bit and sixteen and even thirty two bit games. Yeah, we saw some um, toys based on that stuff. Totally. Yeah, tons of sprite art, and even like uh, Nintendo made that Mario Amiibo. That's a sprite art, but we haven't seen a lot of this because I think a lot of people looked at this era of games as ugly. Yeah. And that's not true. I think this is um, very gorgeous. Uh, some of the best art comes from limitations, and as you can see here, these guys are really cool looking character designs. Yeah, and we've actually we've seen this in a couple other places. There was this, uh, oh, good God. Oh, <laughs> oh, mustache. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right. um, there was this uh, Nendroid uh, solid snake figure with these yep. are super cute little line, little baby, little baby snakes. Are these uh, the same figure dudes. but with different heads? Yeah, he swap? comes with a swappable head, so you can put this, uh, this original PS1 looking snake head on there, That's which great. actually looks incredibly upsetting. Because if it was like, I would be all over a full body, like, like old school PlayStation 1, like if they took that character yep. model and turned it into an action figure, yep. I'd be so excited by that. But seeing this mask on that head just looks like something, like you got too many cheat codes on. Like this looks like an old Midway game for like N64. Or you got like baby mode and, and big head mode and low poly mode on all at once. Um, here's another one that showed up. This isn't really this isn't really doing that, but uh, it would make a great, a great action figure based on low poly stuff. They did oh, this 10th that. anniversary Claude figure for GTA 3, which I think was like super rare, hard to find. Uh, but man, how cool would it be if they had like, like imagine the, the really kind of the low, like you could just 3D print that at this yep. point, you know? Yep. And that actually, so I, I've actually seen people have 3D printed the, like their own version of, of their head, like as gone through big head mode and golden eye, uh -huh. which is basically like either 3D printed or you can do it with paper craft as yeah. well. Um, this, this would be awesome. Like there's so many cool low poly models from back then. Yeah, one that's a total no brainer is obviously original Lara Croft, yep. which I kind of feel like they wouldn't do just on the basis that She's not aged well at all. <laughs> it's actually, it was kind of hard to find this one screenshot because so many of those are like, they had those like pre-rendered versions that showed yep. up on, on box art and stuff. Uh, and where would we be, of course, you mentioned it, uh, good old Goldeneye. That looks just like Pierce Brosnan. Actually, the That's actually a recent is, photo of Pierce Brosnan. The, I don't know if you realize that. The likenesses that. were kind of amazing in this game. Um, what My favorite thing about this game is uh, obviously the hands. Like if you look at those big bricks that they're all carrying around. When they're holding a gun too, it's just like, I'm holding a gun! That looks like, like, a, looks frozen, so like a frozen newspaper or something, <laughs> like an old dog bone. That's real gross. But yeah, this was really cool. Yeah. There's obviously tons of stuff on the N64 that I really like. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Mario 64, um, even Conquer would be really cool. But. What's interesting about those though is like with, with stuff that was really designed to look good in that style, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like if you made a very accurate like Crash Bandicoot or Mario 64 based on that original artwork, it wouldn't look so much like a faithful adaptation of the original graphic. Sure. It would just look like a poorly made toy. Yeah. Because like those designs age really well. If you look at like Mario 64, his nose is like it's not a circle. They want it to be a circle, but it's as close as they could get with mm -hmm. those limited like polygons or whatever. Uh, it, so it would just look like if somebody had 3D printed one and had left some like some extra plastic on there, pretty much. Okay, so I got a better one then. Star Fox with little playset. Star Fox 64, and you have Andros with his big you know mechanical face and all polygons and just have little ships. That'd be kind of cool. Little slippies just ruining your day. I hate that dude. <laughs>